Okay, we are here at our Azure pickup. Um, it's an exciting day to get your Azure haul. So we're just waiting for the trucker to get here. And um, I can't wait to show you everything we ordered. Okay, <clears throat> starting with the herbs, I got some poultry seasoning. Some, I don't know how to say it, Ceylon cinnamon. Um, you know what's interesting about this cinnamon is it tastes kind of like cinnamon bears if you've ever had cinnamon bear candy. Um, and then regular cinnamon just tastes like regular cinnamon. I don't know how to explain it. Um, so I like to use both. Allspice berries. I love allspice berries to put in my chicken broth. Um, this is a story I have to tell you. Okay, so my mom always made butter balls with her chicken noodle soup. It's a German recipe, and the seasoning they put in it is allspice, and I love that flavor, especially in chicken soup. Like, um, that brings me back to my childhood and the comforting butter balls in my chicken noodle soup. And um, so I had some allspice berries. I don't know why I even had them, and I threw them just in my chicken broth when I was making it. A couple of them, like maybe a couple, a tablespoon, maybe two. And it gave that flavor to it because I don't always make butter balls and my family has to eat gluten-free for our daughter with an allergy. So it's just not as doable to make butter balls. And um, yeah, it's delicious. And that's just a little extra bonus that I like to put if I'm making chicken noodle soup. Okay, so then I got chili powder and some white ground pepper. Okay, get rid of that. Delicata squash. I love this stuff when you cook it and mash it up with some butter and salt. It tastes like corn, kind of like buttered corn. I mean, not exactly, but that's what it reminds me of. And I'm not much of a squash person, but it's really good. Okay, I'm trying something new. This tea, um, peach tea. We've been trying to get some loose leaf tea. I got some little of the tea balls that you use to make tea and um, it's been fun to try those kind of things okay baking cups these are great nothing sticks to them and these are my favorite I have a child who gets leg cramps and this really helps so um, she requested more of that this time I stocked up because we have peanut butter and jelly sometimes I stocked up on fruit spread um, and these are with no sugar. So we got some strawberry, they have sour, sour cherry, um, and a peach. Okay, what else? We'll go this direction. I got some black olives, 12 of those in a flat. And I wonder how many pounds, this is 10 pounds of raisins because we go through raisins. So it comes this way and what I end up doing is just um, putting it in Ziploc bags. And one time I even froze them and it, they were totally fine. I froze the bags um, that we weren't using. And they were out of my normal pasta that I get of penne pasta. We completely used up our whole storage of pasta. So I tried, I'm gonna try this quinoa penne. Um, maybe I'll make a recipe and you'll see it. But I remember getting this many years ago when I used Azure and um, it was really good so we'll see um, for some baking the holidays are coming up I got some organic white chocolate chips in bulk I always get them in bulk because it doesn't cost as much it's it's a better deal it's a better deal than going to the store um, okay we have frozen organic strawberries this was green beans and blueberries and then I got a giant box of we always get tortilla chips they've been out of tortilla chips lately and um, this was comparable if not less than the bags of organic tortilla chips I usually get so um, yeah got those okay I stocked up on some baking soda because we take detox baths and so I go through baking soda quite a bit I think there's another it's another bag of that okay then I've got some organic arrowroot power powder um, with all of my forgive me if I'm not recording this with the camera well <laughs> um, I make gluten-free baking and that is the starch I prefer to use over tapioca uh, 
Okay, I got some powdered sugar because, yeah, for baking. We use that once in a while, not very often, but there's some more baking soda. Okay, I really like this canned pink salmon. I don't really do seafood very often, but this is like kind of a fast food for us. Um, this canned salmon is like fast food for my family because I can just whip up some salmon cakes and if we have pickles, bonus, because I can make tartar sauce for it. But um, yeah, that's fast food. Whip up salmon cakes for a dinner. We enjoy that. So I love having those. Okay, avocado oil. I like that because it has a high heat point. I decided to stock up on the big gallon of their maple syrup. Their ma maple syrup is so dark and um, the flavor is very rich. I love their maple syrup. Um, I got a big tub of cream cheese. You know, I don't like buying cream cheese because it has like the gums and stuff in it. And look at this, just milk, cream, and salt. Um, and we have been using cream cheese off and on. So that will be nice and I like not having gums in it. Okay, there's some more baking soda. I think I have more baking stuff than normal because it's the holidays and it's coming up on getting cold and I found this A2A2 milk powder. It's organic and I also saw that it is low temperature processed. Let's see what we got here if it says. It doesn't say. It is pasteurized, but it was just like a gently processed milk powder, and I never buy this, but I have been wanting some um, homemade, what am I trying to say? Homemade um, hot chocolate. That's it. <laughs> homemade hot chocolate. And so I'm like, you know what? Instead of buying the stuff that has the junk in the store, I am just going to make homemade. And so that is just a little something extra okay we like we like peanuts roasted organic peanuts no salt um, and trail mix I make trail mix and stuff okay almond meal I use almond meal um, actually to make homemade almond milk uh, as a really fast almond milk um, I will have to show you sometime okay jovial is my favorite gluten-free pasta and they did have elbows so I got a big flat of that. See, we're not gonna be out of pasta in a while. And wait till you see how much cheese I bought. <laughs> I actually try not to like do a ton of dairy, but I freeze this and they have been running out of stuff. And so I'm just making sure I have it. Um, so I'm gonna freeze this um, mozzarella and we just use it for when we have a pizza night. Like, And I actually make dairy-free pizza a lot of the times. Um, for people who prefer no cheese, but this is really good mozzarella. It's not organic, and I really prefer my cheese to be organic, but um, this is what was available. And I also really like this brand, and if you buy the two five pound blocks of cheddar together, it's an even better discount than just getting a five pound um, block of cheese. And so what I'm gonna do is just freeze this and then pull it out um, when we're ready to use it. So. I have just a couple bulk bags here, and that will do it. A 50 pound bag of millet, because I use that for my bread baking. Um, some organic, gluten-free rolled oats, and then that's a big 50 pound bag of russet potatoes. So I hope you enjoyed the haul, and uh, I will see you next time.